In his books, Making Faces and Face Forward, Kevin O'Quan, the artist, speaks about the importance of using brushes and tools for applying your makeup. He mentions that using a brush to apply your favorite products is going to give you a seamless application. It'll help you with precision of placement of product, as well as buffing it out for that nice transition from whatever color you're applying to skin tone or to that next color. I also like to throw in that brushes tend to be more hygienic when you're a pro artist applying on your clients. I'm Nick Luhan, the Director of Artistry and Education for Kevin O'Quan Beauty, and today I want to talk about some of my favorite brushes and tools from Kevin O'Quan beauty for creating beautiful makeups. We all know that Kevin O'Quan was a master when it came to highlighting and contouring the features of his clients. The Kevin O'Quan beauty contouring brush was specifically designed by Kevin himself to provide you the perfect tool for applying and sculpting out the features of your clients with a specific application as well as a beautiful blend. If you look at the shape of the brush you'll see it's a little bit more rounded. That rounded shape will ensure that you don't get any hard lines anywhere and it's all about that nice soft round blending motion. Now I want to share some of my favorite application tips using the Kevin O'Quan Beauty Contouring Brush and my Contour Book 3.0. I love this book because I have all three shades of sculpting, a limited edition blusher, bronzer, slash two highlighters. I love it because I can go from day to night. I can use some of these products to contour my eyes. There's many uses for the book. Today I'm gonna start by using the Medium Sculpting Powder and my contouring brush. I load the brush with a fair amount of powder and before you go to apply, you always wanna work your product into the bristles. This is gonna ensure that you get a beautiful, seamless airbrush quality finish to the application. Once the brush is loaded, start by applying your point of intensity closest to the ear and under the cheekbone. Once you've applied it, you can clean your brush on a little tissue and then use the same tool just to kind of soften and blend. The reason I love this medium sculpting shade is because it's a beautiful neutral, almost like a grayish brown. It mimics the natural shadows that fall on your features. That was his goal when designing that shade for sculpting. But you can already see, look at how it brings out my cheekbone just by adding that little bit of contour to the area. You can use the same tool to pick up a little more product and also sculpt the hairline, starting right at the back of the hairline and then sweeping your product forward. So you get more color payoff back here and as you work your brush forward, it softly transitions into your skin tone. Another great place to sculpt your features is to do just the tip of the nose and maybe the bridge of the nose. I know some people like to pull it all the way into the crease of the contour of the eye. That's totally up to you and your preference. Don't think that this brush, just because it's called a contour brush, is only used for darker contouring shades. I can also use the same tool to pick up my highlighters, I like to blend both highlighters together if you can't tell, work them into the brush and now really accentuate the high planes of the face. So that's like the cheekbone, a little bit on the bridge of the nose and on the forehead. If I wanted to, if I didn't have facial hair, I could also sculpt a little bit on the beard or the upper side of the lip. I hope that all of my tips and tricks for using brushes were very helpful for you today. We can't wait to see how you use your favorite Kevin O'Quan brushes, so make sure that you always tag us so that we can follow along on your makeup journey.